Since 1990, Profitech has been building some of the best home espresso machines, from the compact and powerful Pro 400 to the elegant Lever Machine Pro 800. They truly know what your coffee bar at home needs. Having said that, there are some home baristas who prefer a really compact machine that gets the job done without those fancy features like pre-fusion or pressure profiling. Maybe you just want a quick cup of espresso in the morning, or perhaps you're looking for a budget-friendly machine with minimal compromises. If you fall into that category, may I introduce you to the Profitech Go, an espresso machine where passion meets design. What's up guys, I'm Hazim from La Marsa, and today I'll be doing a full review of the Profitech Go espresso machine. In today's video, I'll be doing an overview of the Profitech Go, talk about the features, performance, and give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Standing at only 38.1 cm, 21 cm wide, and 36.2 cm depth, the Profitech Go is the real definition of a compact prosumer machine. It also weighs only 13 kilograms, so much so that you can practically carry it with one hand. It has a generous 2.8 liter water tank and a rare feature found in an entry level machine, an adjustable OPV. The design is simple yet modern with a corner cut for a contemporary look. With a matte light finishing on the panels, the Profitech Go is definitely not boring to look at, and it comes in four different colors red, yellow, blue, and black. It's worth mentioning that the black Profitech Go is the only one that comes with a blue pressure gauge. And as I am biased with the color blue, this is definitely my favorite model. The Profitech Go features three simple buttons at the front, one for brewing, one for steaming, and one to turn on and off the machine. Right above the Profitech emblem is the steam knob, and the steam one comes with a two-hole steam tip. There is no hot water spout to be found, but I guess you can always use the brew water to make a long black. The Profitech Go comes with a PID display which allows you to adjust the boiler and various programming options. I'm sure you're aware that a programmable PID display is a premium feature in espresso machines. So heads off to Profitech for including it in this entry-level machine. The ring group head also measures 58mm, conforming to the standard commercial size. This means that using a third-party porta filter is a seamless process. Last but not least, the drip tray is pretty large for a compact machine, and it slides off very easily without having to lift it off. Beneath its stylish exterior lies an insulated single brass boiler with a capacity of 0.4 liters. The vibration pump also comes with a rubber mount, ensuring a low noise performance. Similarly to the Profitech Pro 400, the OPV is located on the cup warmer. Only that it is not concealed by it. This makes it super easy to adjust the pressure according to your liking. To adjust the brewing pressure, place the porta filter with a blind basket and push the brew button. Using a flathead screwdriver, adjust it clockwise to increase the pressure and vice versa to lower the pressure. Once you have reached the desired pressure, press the brew button to turn it off and you are ready to brew. Accessing the PID is pretty much the same like other Profitech machines. Just hold the minus and plus buttons simultaneously until T1 appears on the display. From there, you can increase or reduce the temperatures accordingly. You can also adjust the steam temperature by pressing the minus button and proceed to do the same to access other options, such as eco mode that is programmable up to 10 hours, group cleaning mode in steps of 10 between 0 and 200, and also change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. The PID also acts as a short timer the moment you press the brew button. Being a single boiler espresso machine, it is expected that the Go cannot brew and steam at the same time. From a cold start, it takes about 5 to 7 minutes of heat up time before you're ready to brew. During the heating process, the PID will display up. Once the PID shows the current boiler temperature, the machine is ready to go. Steaming the milk can be done by pressing the steam button and it shouldn't take more than a minute for it to reach the steaming temperature. Turn the knob for a few seconds to purge out any water and now you're ready to steam some milk. The steaming power is as powerful as the temperature. 
So the higher you set the steaming temperature, the more powerful it gets. It is important to note that being a single boiler, you need to perform a flush to bring down the temperature before brewing. When the steam has cleared off, once again, the machine is ready to go. Given its small size, the workflow is ideal if you're brewing a cup or two, but definitely not for back-to-back -back shots. Profitech Go produces beautiful espresso and steaming time doesn't take too long to achieve the smooth and textured milk. My only nitpicks would be how the panels meet at the back and how the water tank lid isn't properly secured on the cup warmer. But with a sturdy design and build, beautiful color options, features such as programmable PID, fast heat up time, and an adjustable OPV, it's only fair to disregard them. If you only drink espresso, but wouldn't mind having a latte and cappuccino every now and then, look no further than Profitech Go. With an extremely small footprint, the Profitech Go is also perfectly suited for those living in studio apartments or dealing with extremely limited home counter space. And for less than 5,000 ringgit, it is safe to say that the Profitech Go is one of the best single boiler espresso machines in the market. And that's it for a review of the Profitech Go. I hope this video has been helpful and informative to all of you. I've included the link to the Profitech Go in the description below if you're interested in purchasing or you can just drop by our showroom. And if you have any questions about this cute little machine, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.